All right. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today's session. We are so excited. Um, this year is the first time we're starting the year with four-part webinar series, Kickstart Your 2024 with Give Effect. So whether you join or attend uh, one or more of our workshops uh, in this series, or maybe this is the first one you're joining, we are very excited to showcase the power of using Give Effect all in one platform. Throughout this series, for the past two months, we've talked about the year-end reporting, fundraising, volunteer management, and so much more. And the purpose of today's session is to tie all of those pieces together and provide high-level overview of Give Effect and how it can help achieve success in those areas and beyond. So without further ado, let's get started. Today, we are going to be spending 30 minutes at taking a deeper dive into Give Effect. But before we jump in, just a quick introduction. My name is Yulia Zhernavaya. I am the head of growth and strategy at Give Effect. I joined the company uh, almost three years ago, and I have, I have been involved with a number of nonprofits throughout my life. Currently, I serve as a board member um, in my city, New York, and I'm on the board of YNPN New York City and Women in Development, an amazing organization that is focused on supporting women in development and fundraising. So with that, today, let's take a look at quick agenda. So we started with welcome and introductions, and we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about benefits of all-in-one software for nonprofits. Then we'll take a deep dive into Give Effect, and I want to secure a few minutes at the end for any uh, questions that you might have about Give Effect or any other topics we discuss during this four-part webinar series. So let's dive in. So first of all, I wanted to pose a question. Why should you consider all-in-one software, right? Most of organizations that I came across, whether it's uh, through my role at Give Effect or just networking and meeting with different leaders uh, in the area, I hear a lot that most of the organization use three to eight different platforms to manage uh, their day-to-day -day, from donor management to volunteer management to marketing and so on. So typically I see organizations starting from maybe one, two platforms, but as they grow, they keep adding more and more different platforms. We have a gala. Now we need to add something for auction. We want to do peer-to-peer. -peer, let's add another platform and so on and so forth. But inst interestingly enough, even though there are so many platforms that many organizations use, according to Salesforce research, only 36% of nonprofit professionals say that they're very satisfied with the technology they have to do their job. Many organizations, when they come to give effect, they share one or all of the struggles that you can see on the screen. Too many platforms, those platforms can be really great on its own, but they, when they're all together, unfortunately, they don't talk to each other and it causes a lot of problems, such as constantly downloading, reporting from one tool only to upload it to another. Um, there is also lots of transitions, right? So when the person leaves, a lot of time they took institutional knowledge with them. There is missing unorganized data because there are so many tools and so many people involved and just overall lots of manual data entry and repetitive tasks. So what is the difference between siloed platforms and all-in-one? With siloed platforms, when you have several tools, again, you have data in all the different places. You have to download, upload, you have to do different uh, data entry. Reconciliation is multiple place. Reporting gets complicated. Just to get one report, you might have to go through several emails, data uploads, and so on. Not to even mention multiple logins. So the more platform you have, the more logins you need to remember, and it in itself can become a problem. So instead, when you use all-in-one platform, all data is automatically captured in one place. 
you can truly get 360 degree view of all of your supporters activities relationships there is no more download upload scheduling meeting just to talk about the data transfer there's a lot of automation some examples include automated gift processing tax receipt ability to easily generate reporting and just one login across the entire team so whether you one person shop, three person development team, or you have a large organization with 20, 30 employees, everyone have one login and access to one system instead of multiple platforms. And what we found through the many researches we've done that nonprofit with unified technologies, uh, two times more likely to achieve fundraising goals, they're more likely to exceed mission goals, and our clients report saving 30 to 40 hours a month by not doing, doing manual data entry and saving time on administrative tasks. And that's what we do here. Give Effect helps nonprofits to eliminate manual processes, foster collaboration, and drive growth. Uh, revenue, volunteers, by enabling your team to utilize out of the box, user-friendly, and easy to use turn on key platform. So what is Give Effect? Give Effect is standalone one platform, and you can see all the different systems that we have, again, out of the box in Give Effect. We have our online giving with ability to process online, offline, in-kind donations, relationship database. I like to call it the brain of the software because all the data will be there for you to review and utilize it to build stronger connections. Event with fundraising with ability to create simple donation campaign, ticketed events, peer-to-peer, -peer, auctions, um, any of your fundraising ideas can come to life. Full volunteer management systems, nonprofit management, anything from task management, resource management, budgets, um, all fall into this category. Membership management, email and marketing. Again, we wanna stay in touch and easy communicate with our supporters. Grants management and moves management, website and web posting, and smart automation, which ensures that all the data automatically captured across the board and stored in one place. So if I'm your supporter and I come to your website, whether I donate, purchase a ticket to your next event, sign up to volunteer, um, sign up for your mailing list, all of the data will be automatically captured by Give Effect and stored for you to review understand your supporters, their preferences, and engage further. So without further ado, uh, let's dive in and take a look what Give a Pack has to offer. In full disclosure, if we go through everything, I'm going to keep you here for much more than 30 minutes. So today we're just going to do a very quick and brief overview of the main systems, right? So let's go in. So we're gonna take a look first at some of the examples of GiveAffect clients who's been utilizing GiveAffect platform and see how it looks on their front end for their donors, volunteers, and supporters. So now we're taking a look at Little Lighthouse and we'll start with donation. So important for your donors easily find the donate button and complete donation. So here we have an example of embedded donation form. It's fully customizable. We can offer one time monthly gift. We can customize giving options. Your supporters can cover the fee and there's option to of course, provide a gift in owner of or in memory of. So this is one option. Some of our clients uh, choose second option, which we call standalone donation form. It's the same form, you can use one of them or both of them at the same time, but this one just gives a little bit more uh, options to customize what your donors can see on the form. Over here, you'll see one time, monthly, or any other type of recurring gift, and we also have pledges. So your supporter can pledge a certain amount over uh, a certain period of time. The system will automatically cal calculate their installments and send them reminders on their desired schedule. But either way, again, you can customize the given levels, include impact statements to showcase where the funds will be uh, going. 
you can provide matching gift options. So let's say I work for Home Depot, I can quickly find my employer and double the donation. Our partner will make sure that you get that matching gift. You'll input your information. And on the same form, we don't want to miss the opportunity to ask about preferences. So over here, we can ask if donor wants to sign up for our email, newsletter, mailing list, SMS text messages, and so on. So all of their preferences will be indicated right here. Uh, your donor will input the address, they can add optional note, and of course, they can dedicate the gift. And with GiveEffect, you even have an option to send a digital e-card. So here are just a few examples of the card. You can upload your own and uh, you'll receive it. At the end, payments. Currently, we provide credit card, bank payments, PayPal, and VMO. And this is the end of the form. When you donor, click Pay Now. As a donor, uh, let's say I'm the donor, I will receive automated thank you that you can customize with uh, tax receipt, details of my gift. And on your site as admin, you will get all of this information in real time within your GiveEffect database. And if I'm a new donor, the system will be creating new profile for me. If I'm returning donor, the system will keep updating my information every time I come uh, and donate and support your organization. But Aside from donate page, great way to increase support for your organization is uh, digital fundraising campaigns. So we're gonna take a look at a few examples. This one is very simple. This is year end given campaign. And we can see here this organization specify the goal they're trying to raise and huge congratulations for raising almost $200,000 for this campaign. There is one call to action. I can read a little bit about the campaign and just quick again, give all my information go again into the same place. Some organization use this campaign for disaster relief or year end and giving, giving to the and so on. So here is another example, very simple image, description of the campaign and clear uh, call to action for your supporters. But you're not only limited for simple campaigns with GiveEffect. You can add shop products to any of your campaign. In this case, Saratoga Bridges actually selling arts projects, but I've seen other nonprofits use it for merchandise like t-shirts, hoodies, uh, and all the other different types of uh, product that you might be providing for your uh, supporters and constituents. A lot of uh, nonprofits are back to events recently. So with GiveEffect, you not only can create digital fundraising campaign, but also host your next event. So here we're looking at the example of an event that happened recently. You can see they did achieve their goal by almost 30%. And when it happens, there's this cute fireworks that are going on on the page. Uh, but right here, you can see this organization was selling tickets. There is also sponsorship, a checkout, and also auctions. So all of this are customizable. This is just the type of the tickets that they set up. You can create your own. And what a lot of our supporters love is this, nonprofit clients love is this sponsor uh, checkout. So I'll show you that in a second. But if you have an auction, it can be incorporated in the same page. If I click auction items and bring me down, uh, down to the page and you can upload all the different auction items. Once uploaded, each auction item has its own page as well, where you can put more details about the item. You can specify estimated retail value, opening bid, bid increments, and anything that you need to have a successful auction. But going back to sponsorship, here is an example. Uh, you can create your custom sponsorship levels, right? Provide the description of the sponsorship. And if you offer uh, tickets with the sponsorship, you can absolutely include those as well. So your sponsor can come here, they can choose the sponsorship level. And if it comes with the tickets, they can even go ahead and let me show you over here, include the names of the eight people who will be attending this event um, from this sponsor. In addition, they'll upload their logo, their information, so you no longer need to chase anyone for their logo. I know it's, it sounds like such a simple 
task, but we all know how much time, some time it takes. So your sponsor will be able to come here, choose the sponsorship le uh, level, upload their logo, upload the information, proceed to pay now. The funds will be going to your account within 24 hours and your sponsor's logo will be on the campaign page in the real time, upload it automatically and your sponsor get a thank you. Again, right here by just clicking a link. Uh, aside from ticketed events, lots of success uh, we see for the past couple of years is peer-to-peer -peer events. Again, another option available with Give a Pack, everything in one place. This is an example for Special Olympics Rhode Island. Um, they have Torch Run. I can come here, I can donate, and I can support any of the teams, or I can support participants participating in this campaign. I can register my own team. I can participate as individual. And if I scroll down, you'll see all the different teams who are participating participating in this campaign and fundraising on Special Olympics Rhode Island behalf. And if I click on any of the team, I'll be able to access team page. I'll be able to see their message, uh, who is participating, how much are they raising and so on. So lots of great details. Most importantly, anyone who donates to any of the teams, all of the funds go to your account within 24 hours, all the data will also go into your database. So now you can expand the reach and um, your supporters base, and you can continue communicate with them and engage them even after this campaign is ended. But fundraising is not the only option that available with Give a Pack. We also know that a lot of nonprofits do community events. Maybe you have a workshop, a conference, something that doesn't necessarily require purchasing a ticket, but you still want to track who is RSVP, who is attending, and so on. So here is an example of a workshop. Very simple, just description of the event. And I can go ahead, click RSVP to attend. I'll be able to enter my information and save my spot for this event. You can see all look and feel is very similar and the simple checkout flow. And last but not least example of RSVP. This is the conference. Um, again, very simple. All the details are here. I can RSVP. As soon as I RSVP, give a fact will send me automated. Thank you with the detail of upcoming event. All right, so we we'll took a look at a lot of options for events, fundraising, well, what about the volunteers, right? It's a, such a huge uh, part of so many nonprofits. So Give a Fact actually has full volunteer management system as part of our platform. So let's dive in. First and foremost, volunteer application, right? We need to know who is interested in volunteering and learn as much information of them as possible before they become volunteers. So here's an example of volunteer application. Again, it is customizable. It can be as short or as long as needed. Uh, your volunteers will be able, of course, to provide their information, date of birth. If you have age restrictions, right, that this will trigger minor uh, parental consent. You can uh, ask background information, their location, experiences, if that's something you would like to know, maybe you're looking for volunteers with specific certificates and so on. Volunteers will be able to specify their availability, pledge hours, and you can ask any additional details you would like to know as, my, uh, as well as emergency contact information. Once volunteer click continue, that's when your waiver will pop up. Your volunteers can acknowledge the waiver right there and they will be ready to volunteer with your organization. So now, once their volunteer application is completed, they can navigate to your website and browse volunteer calendar. So right now we're looking at volunteer calendar for Habitat for Humanity Kansas City. This calendar created in GiveEffect and then embedded into their website. So when, if I go to Habitat for Humanity Kansas City website, I click on volunteer opportunities, this calendar will pop up and I can browse upcoming opportunity in the calendar view or in this list view. Either way, what you can see here, you can create different volunteer opportunities. You can specify what is the opportunity, where, what time, any age restrictions. You can uh, put how many spots right are available for this opportunity and your supporters will be able to 
browse the details, uh, location, time, and sign up right here. Wonderful. So that's one of the way how your volunteers can find opportunities and sign up. The second option is volunteer campaigns. So volunteer campaigns is a great way to market some of your events or specific volunteer opportunities where you, you know, you want to um, bring more volunteers to help. So here's an, an event from Harvest Hope Food Bank. They uploaded a video talking about all the great work that Food Bank does and volunteers can sign up here for this specific location. Another example is from Humane Society of West Michigan. They have an event every year, a wonderful event. It's a gala, and they need a volunteer to support at that event. So they've created this page specifically dedicated to attract volunteers for this event. Okay, there is a little bit details about volunteer opportunity. I can, they already have 19 volunteers and I can click to volunteer. I can choose my role and sign up here or I can even create volunteer team. So maybe myself, two of my friends want to go and help out at this event. I, I can not only just sign up myself, but also uh, my friends in this case. All right, so that's just kind of brief overview of the different options, but I'm sure you have a question. Okay, so great, all of this option available. Where the data is going? So let's take a very quick view at GiveAffect. So when your supporters, they donate, sign up to volunteer, participate in different campaigns, all of the data will automatically go back into GiveAffect. And when you log in into GiveAffect as an admin user, this is the first screen that you will see. We call it mission control. Uh, this view is customizable. Right now it's set for myself. I have Good Morning Yulia. I can take a look at their revenue information. And here I have this great dashboard. They give this dashboard, give me a snapshot view of all the different activities that I want to take a look. I have my upcoming donor anniversaries. Um, I have upcoming birthdays, Mark Smith's birthday today. I don't need to go to another system. I can just email Mark right from here. I can send him SMS and wish him a happy birthday. We can take a look at lost touch, never contacted, location maps of where our supporters are coming from. If I'm a volunteer manager, I can take a look at volunteer signups and upcoming volunteer anniversaries and so far and so on. So this is just a quick view of the different things that are easy to fall through the cracks, but we want to stay on top of them. But let's dive into CRM. So once your once your supporters donate volunteer purchase tickets, all of the data will go into GiveAffect CRM. So here you can see I have my task management. I can task myself. I can task other members of the team. We have our contacts tab where all the contacts will leave and we can segment them by individual, organization, constituents, leads, and so on. We have our donation tab. That's where all the donation data is kept, right? And by clicking in each tab, you will see that the system giving me a quick snapshot of the data. For example, in donation tab, I can see that we have 616 donors, how many donations, smallest, largest, average, and total. In volunteers tab, I can take a look at all of my volunteers, but we also have sweat equity, major gifts, membership loss screening, grants management, and so on. Some of these tabs at the end, those are custom tabs. You're not going to have them in your view. I'm creating them for myself. But if you ever need to create any custom sheets, you absolutely will be able to do it with give back. So in the donation tab, just a quick example, this is where all the donations will come in. You'll see them with the date, amount, name, campaign details, and you also can preset general ledger code at the, uh, on the back end. So they're already gonna come with all this information as well as the tax receipt. So financial reconciliation becomes very, very simple. All this data, going to be not only in donation tab, but of course captured within the uh, constituents profile. So we're going to take a very quick look at Wendell, who is our star supporter, and you can see how the data is captured by GiveAffect. Oh, that's not the Wendell that I was looking for, so stay with me here for a second. 
Lendl is going to pop up and here it is. So this is the standard profile. And what you can see here is when the contact information over here as well, we can segment our supporters into different groups. As you can see here, we can get more demographic information on him if that's necessary. We can even have a little map to see where he's located. Because when there is a volunteer, we also have his volunteer application. Unfortunately, it expired, so he needs to resubmit it. Uh, but from his last volunteer application, we can see all the responses that he gave to us. We can attach attachments, we can track relationship, and as we scroll to the bottom, you can see real 360 degree view of all of his um, engagement with other, with our organization. We can take a look at his given history and see every single donation that he provided to our organization. So far, he donated almost 4 million. So I hope everyone has Wendell in their database. Uh, we also can take a look at his volunteering opportunities and we'll be able to see how many hours he completed so far, over 2,000 hours and every single opportunity that he is doing with us. By clicking in the campaign, I can take a look at all of his fundraising uh, interaction with us, any RSVP event he uh, registered for. And if you purchase any tickets to any of our events, again, all of the data will be captured automatically by GiveEffect and stored for you to review. Uh, in the interaction tab, so we can see all of his communication interactions. So right now I'm looking at all the interaction. I can see every single email we sent to Wendell, all the letters we generated. Um, the system will be automatically captured emails, letters, and SMS. And if we have call or meeting with Wendell, I can simply click add an interaction and add any notes from those um, interactions. There is waivers, household, so much more information. I'll be happy to cover if you're interested. But for now, that's a quick overview. And we're going to go back to donation tab. So from any of this tab, I know reporting is extremely important. So you can run report from any of the tabs. You, you can simply click advanced search and filter any information you need. For example, we might look for uh, donations that were made within the period of, let's say, last month. I click search and you'll be, you will be able to see in a second that we have 98 donors and almost 300 donations. I'm not only limited to donation filters. I can also say, but show me those donation they were made last month but they were made from volunteers for someone who is also a volunteer we click search we have 53 donors if that's the report i'm running on a regular basis i don't need to filter this every time i need to see the data i can click automated email scheduling i'll be able to name my report right here and I be able to set a schedule. Maybe from tomorrow on the weekly basis, I want to receive this report, but I also want it to be sent to my uh, boss, Jack. And the system will be sending the report automatically on my desired schedule. If you need to communicate with this uh, donors, right? All we need to do is select all. And then right from here, we can click print selected and print envelope and thank you letters. If you are still sending any actual letter acknowledgements, or if we want to communicate via email or text messages, all I need to do is click here and I can choose send email or send SMS. So I'm gonna click send email and you will see that the system will take all of these 53 donors and move me to email marketing system. Um, I can name my email campaign. I can specify from reply to address. And from here I can create plain text email or use drag and drop editor to create newsletter like email. Either way, I have all of these different replacement variables to make sure that my communications are personalized and it goes beyond first name, last name. I can include giving summary, year to day contribution. I can uh, create gener uh, suggested donation amount based on someone's given history. I can include volunteer summary and so many more different custom fields. And the best part is once the email sent out, I don't need to go to the other tool like Constant Content, MailChimp, any other tools. I'm gonna see all of my analytics right here in the campaign 
all I need to do is click to analytic icon and I'll be able to see send delivered open and subscribe. If anyone click on the link, let's click on the open. I'll be able to see all 23 contacts in my database and how many times they open and if they click on any of the link. So everything always gonna be in one place for all of your team members to review. And just to give you an idea how the newsletter might look like, this is one of the examples from our client. This one is quite lengthy, so, uh, but just to give you an idea how it might look like. This is the long version. Also seen some of the clients doing pretty straightforward, clear uh, call to action. And this is just a quick example of a more simple uh, email campaign, but that sometimes simple drives better results. So with that, we have so much more that we can go over. Um, right now we're only, uh, talk about events and fundraising, donor management, volunteer management, and email marketing. Again, we also have grant management, major gifts management. There is a full reporting tab with pre-built reports and so much more information. Um, but I want to be mindful of everyone's time. And I think for today, I hope I equipped you with a lot of um, information about Give Effect and you have an idea if that's something you want to explore more and if that might be a solution for your organization or not. Either way, the last thing I'm going to add before I open it for Q&A, importance of customer service. So when we use different tools, maybe one for volunteer management, one for CRM, one for email marketing. We're also getting all these different technical issues and we need to reach out to different platforms for customer support. With Give a Fact, you get consistent and reliable support across the board. So again, whether you have a volunteer management question, email marketing, CRM, donor management, fundraising question, we have an amazing team. Um, and they're always here to answer your question through building chat support, email support. We have tons of videos, tutorials, live webinars, help center, and monthly office hour, in addition to phone support that available as well. So you get reliable you know, support across different platforms to answer any of your questions. With that, then if you're interested to learn in more, I highly encourage you to schedule one-on-one -on -one time when where I would be able to learn a little bit more about your situation, what are you trying to achieve, your goals, and uh, we will be able to provide a custom um, demonstration for your organization. So with that, I'm going to pause for a second, and I think we might have a couple of questions. Um, so give me a second to take a look at those. Okay, so we have one question. Um, okay, can supporters and individuals customize their own campaign pages if they're fundraising on their organizational behalf? Absolutely amazing question. So uh, in this case, when you have peer-to-peer -peer or team fundraising, let's go back to that example. Uh, what your supporters you, you'll see are able to do is they'll be able to upload. Let's go back for a second. So we'll, so over here, you can see we have our background image, main image. And if I uh, click register my own team, you'll see some of the options uh, that would be available for me. So from here, if I'm registering my team, I'll be able to create team name. I can specify the goal, but if I don't want to, that's okay too. And of course, I can provide uh, more information about my team, right? I can describe why we're fundraising, any personal motivation and so on. I'll be able to upload my old team, my own team logo image. I can also embed video. Maybe I, I instead of you know uploading photo, I quickly um, use my phone and record a little video message and then I can upload it as well. I can specify maximum um, number of team members uh, if necessary. Uh, if I'm a team captain, my information, and then I click submit and the page will be created. So it, it really takes just a few minutes and there are some things that can be customized. 
hope that answers your questions. Perfect. And we have one more question. How does give a fact separate or group someone who might be a donor but also a volunteer? Um, can you provide a little bit more information? I'm not sure how separate group someone who might be a donor but also a volunteer. Um, with give effect because we it's all in one. Um, you can always utilize groups to segment your donors and volunteers. So for example, I can run, um, I can create a group for anyone who download, don't donate online. I can place them automatically into group our online donors, or I can also run a query. So for example, I can take a look right now we're in the contacts. So I can um, lifetime don't maybe lifetime donation total is greater than $5,000. Maybe we say that this is our threshold for major donors, right, or, or VIP supporters. So I can quickly uh, run this query. We have 128 um, donors who fall into that category. And then I can, again, select all, and I can mass update them. And I can add them to a group, um, our VIP supporters. But also, if I want to have a group of donors, but they're also volunteers, I can add another filter. Show me those who are lifetime donation is greater than $5,000 and they're volunteers. And we have 58 of them and we can also place them in the group. I hope this answers your question, but please let me know if any additional clarification necessary. Wonderful, all right. So I'm gonna give it another minute if there's any other questions. And if not, I really wanted to say thank you for your time and joining our last session, um, last of four part webinar series. It was really my pleasure to be here and show you a little bit of give effect and talk about benefits of having all in one platform uh, versus um, siloed platforms. So I hope this was helpful and please do not hesitate uh, to reach out if you want to dive uh, deeper into the platform or you want to have a strict strategy session to kind of go over what are you trying to do, what are the goal challenges, and I'll be happy to connect. So please utilize the QR code and I hope uh, to connect soon. Thank you.